Okay, so we are lucky enough at the school here to have shapefiles for the whole of South Africa. And so I just wanted to show you how to load it. If you click on this plus button here to add data, um, it would have been the file that you downloaded from online. So if I just go here, the folder is SA Geology Shapefile, and inside here is the shapefile. Sorry. You can see how a shapefile's actually got multiple components. Here's the SHP file, but all these other ones have different bits of information. Okay, so you've saved it in the folder where you, you what, um, can access it. Here it is, SA Geology Shape. Click Add. This is telling you that the coordinate system you are using is different from the coordinate system of this shape file. So you can see it's actually got WGS84 datum, and we were using uh, Clark 1880. So that's fine. We, it will convert it for us. So I just close it. And you can see here, this blue is the geology of the whole of South Africa added on top here. I'm going to just close my magnetic data because often if it's a lot of data, it struggles. And so you can see it's added it here under Table of Contents. If I right click um, under SA Geology, go to Open Attribute Table. This is all of the geology list and you can see on the right here is the strat name. A lot of different stratigraphies. If you want to give it all different colors, you're going to right click and go Properties. Okay, remember you go to Symbology, Catalogs. Go, um, make sure you've chosen here, what is it, strat name, and let's click add values. And so it's obviously going to take a while because there's a lot of strat names. Okay, you can see all the different groups through the stratigraphy. And let's click apply, and it should all give different colors now. Okay. And if I go back here, I'm just going to go back to the table of attributes. Let's see what else, what other information is here. So all different numbers, strat name, there's the ages, the type of rock, um, types of deformation. So a lot of information is here. You could obviously choose to color this map based on different columns, but the most logical one seems to be strat name. So now say I want to extract um, stuff from the bushfield complex. I don't want all of this shape data. How I do that is I click here on this down arrow under table and I go to select by attributes. Okay, and now in this table, I'm going to ch choose the he column heading I'm going to use to make the selection. So I go to strat name, I double click on it. You see it's added it here under select from where. I now click on equals, and now I want to figure out what my strat name be equal for to for it to select it for me. So I'm using this tool to only select certain rock units, and I'm using this equation here to describe which units it must highlight. So only units with the name that I'm going to list here will get highlighted. So I click here on get unique value to get all the different rock units. Okay, and say for example, let's just see, go to if I type in bushveld, there's a whole bunch of things with B U S and B O. So nothing with bushveld is here. If I type in magnetite, and I said, but you need to know what the rock unit name is. So you can see here. Let's just use. I saw Pillensburg. I thought I saw Pillensburg. Oh no, I saw Pillensburg. Oh no, the Pillensburg complex. I'm going to double click on it. It adds it to the, um, the equation here and I'm going to click apply. And so what it does is it searches through this list to find um, the Pillensburg and it should select the Pillensburg which is covered. Let's move this out the way. Okay, you can see it's selected it over here. Now say I want to take just this Pillensburg shapefile and put it on my map. What you do is, you, once it's selected here, you go to your SA Geology, right click, go, wait for it, selection, hold on, yes, you go to data, sorry, export data, and you just want to do selected features, not all features, and you can leave it as this layer source data, and then choose what you're going to call it. It by default calls it export output, I'm going to call it Pilansburg. E, and you can see it's adding a shape file extension. Click OK. 
it'll save it wherever you set it and it says here do you want to add the exporter data as its own layer i'm going to click yes and it should add it up here okay you can see now the pillar is going separate so if I deselect the South African geology, we've still got the Pillansburg there. Let me also deselect my other. Oh, I'm having a heart attack. Scrolling down. There's a lot of geology here, so it's probably going to slow your computer down quite a bit. Okay, well, it has loaded in this Pillansburg data.